Hello, uh, my name is Jeff Ney and I'm going to do a small series of videos on keypads. Uh, the end goal here is to eventually be able to incorporate a keypad into a Ben Eater 6502 processor breadboard project that I'm going to be doing hopefully sometime <laughs> soon. So I wanted to start working on these keypads first, so I figured I'd do a video so I can remember what I did and maybe help other people who might be interested in doing something similar. First thing you need to know is you will have to solder some wires or some header pins into here to make any you know connection to this these pins at all. And the second thing you need to know is this one these two end ones are really not connected to anything, well, at least on my keypad. So, I mean, other people's keypads may differ. So, now that we have this soldered in there, so yes, you will have to do a little bit of soldering. It's not that much. You can either solder some wires there, or like I did, put the uh, header pins in there. So, let's get this plugged into the board. And we'll see how this thing works. I'm going to connect a few wires, and on this board here, I already know what's going on. These first four pins, not counting the first one, are the columns row, and this sec the second set of four there are the rows. So you have columns, and you have rows, and that's how this matrix works. So let's go ahead and plug some wires in here. I'll just plug in column one for now and say row number one. Here's my. And row number one, which is right here. Now, if we turn on our multimeter, and if it doesn't fall down, we can test row one and column one when we push down the number one key on the pad. And there you go. Basically it closes the circuit and you get next to zero resistance there. And then we can go to column one, row two, Press the number two, or am I wrong here? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's row two. Column one, row two. Gotcha. Sorry about that. And then we'll do column one, row three, which is the seven. There you go. And then finally, column one, row four. Now, if you ever have a problem with your keypad, you'll probably want to go through every single column and row. There's only 16, so it's not that big of a deal. And then that would be column one, row four. Now, if you wanted to see what was in column two, we just plug the next wire in here. And start, you know, monitoring column two to see if all the keys are working there. So this would be column two, row one, or number two. All right. Got a lot of resistance there for some reason. There we go. Then column two. Row two and column two, row three. And column two, row four. And there you go. That's how you can test your keypad out to make sure all the keys are functioning correctly. In the next video, 
we're going to incorporate a uh, MM74C922 64x4 decoder, which will take all of these signals and we'll add some LEDs and then it'll light up the LEDs. It'll basically takes all these inputs and turns it into a, a BCD output that you can see on your LEDs. So that will be on the next video. Thanks for watching.